All right, folks, I've just got a quick video here. This is a Tektronix MDO 3000 scope, and uh, just a little video to show you about how it uh, has a, an anomaly where it will crash. Um, I've uh, got a little setup here, which uh, is um, looking at an SPI signal from a microcontroller, and uh, you'll see it just there. That's the setup that I have. And uh, I'm just looking at it on the scope, and um, one of the things that you might be able to see here, if I uh, zoom in a little bit, is that it's uh, got an incrementing second byte there. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to um, actually trigger it on a particular value and see how that goes. So the obvious thing to do is to uh, change the trigger so it does a bus trigger. And so uh, I'll show you what happens when I try to do that. So first thing is I go into the uh, trigger menu and then I want to set uh, the edge trigger instead of that I want to set it to a bus trigger. Now the bus trigger is down here so I'm going to have to just move that down a little bit and what's happened? It's crashed. Can I do anything? Nothing. So the scope is completely crashed now, and the only way that I can get it out of this uh, situation is to give it a reboot. So here's how to reproduce this really simply. So this is from a default setup. Um, what I should mention is after the uh, scope is rebooted from a crash, it actually does go into the default setup, so it doesn't just boot up with its uh, uh, crashed settings on there. Uh, but to uh, set this, all you need to do um, is to go straight from a default setup into the trigger menu, select the source to be any one of the digital channels, because of course assuming you have the uh, MDO option, and uh, then what you can do is go into the trigger type, scroll down, and that's it. And the scope is completely crashed. And uh, that's how easy it is to crash uh, an MDO 3000. The um, software, sorry, firmware on here is uh, 1.20, by the way, which I believe is the current uh, latest version. Thanks for watching.